In this video, we'll teach you how to use custom queues. All the way to the left, if you notice, on your ticket navigation bar. Again, as you've seen previously, you can have or use preset list of tickets by categories, statuses, but then there are queues. And queues are very useful because you can design your own queues. These queues can be personalized or also can be shared with the rest of your team. So let's review how they can be created. To the right of the word queues, you'll notice a little plus symbol. By clicking that, engages the page where you can start adding conditions. So I'm going to go ahead and create one custom queue for tickets that will have due dates within the next seven days. I think that will be useful, right? So let's go ahead and under the match all conditions, let's select due date is, look at that, there is a preset option already for uh, due date is in the next seven days. So I'm going to select that, but also I'm going to go ahead and add one more condition to make sure that I uh, only get to see tickets, for instance, that um, uh, have not been completed yet, right? I don't want to see closed tickets. So I'm going to select a status behavior is not completed. If in doubt, you can always click the preview and look at that. Okay, that worked. It's showing three tickets. So I'm going to go ahead and move into the next step. From here, I'm going to provide a name. And as I mentioned before, uh, these custom queues can be built uh, where you can just see them yourself, or you can share with the uh, rest of the team, or a custom list of uh, teammates. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and share with the rest of my team. And save. As soon as I do that, you'll notice um, the new navigation point under under queues and in fact displays the total number of tickets that match that criteria. Okay, let's do one more. Um, this time I'm going to create a custom queue for tickets with attachments. So I'm going to go in again and engage the plus symbol. And again, conditions can be anything. They can be even part of custom fields that your company might use. So um, Let's use that. Why not? Let's add a custom field value so that you get to see a nice and more complex example. So there, I use a unique custom field value there. Now I'm going to use one of our preset conditions, which is there, has attachments. And once again, I'm going to ensure that I only see tickets there that require work. If those tickets are being closed, I don't want to see them there. So I'm going to say status behavior is not completed. One more time, I want to do a quick preview. That way I can see if that uh, set of conditions will work. And there we go. That looks good. Let's go ahead and uh, decide this time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, not share that with the team. It's something that I want to use myself. So I'm going to keep the access just set to me. And save. And that. That is it. That's how simple it is. Um, you can see every single one of the custom queues. If you are ever in need of getting rid of a custom queue or edit it, notice what I'm going to do. All the way up on top of the label of the uh, queue or the list, notice that every time I hover on the uh, label, I get a little pencil. I can click on that and it gives me access to edit the conditions. Or if I do not longer need the queue, simply delete. Thank you so much for watching.